Hi guys, in this video we're going to make a little model of baby Dory and I'm making her in modelling paste but I'm going to start by creating a little stand for her to stand on so I'm going to put mine on a little board again I like to just keep them on my desk instead of putting her on a board you can just put her straight onto the top of a cupcake so I've just got a little bit of fondant that I've dyed in a pale caramel ivory colour rolled it out thin and we're just going to cover that board now I'll put links in the description box below the video showing you all the different food colours I've used and all the materials with links to where you can get them all from. So trim around the edge with a knife. I do have other videos on icing boards if you do want to have a look I'll put a link up to those now. Now to create a sand texture I've just got this little mat that actually says sand texture on it and we'll just press that on there and for the seaweed we're going to put on some seaweed so I'm going to mix a bit of green. I've used a bit of the kiwi and a bit of the spring green together. So this is modelling paste that I'm using. Now I haven't done it very bright I'm going to brush a bit more colour on it afterwards. Made a little cylinder shape. Don't worry if it's not too neat at the moment because the idea is that we're going to try and cover most of this up. But I'm going to put some little lines in it anyway just in case any of it shows between our bits of seaweed. So I'm going to put this on my board just using a little bit of water to stick it in place. And I've got some modelling paste for baby Dora herself and it's quite a pale blue one. Again I'll link in the description box below. So start with a, a little ball. I'm going to create a little bit of a teardrop shape. So the rounder end will become her face and the thinner end of the teardrop will become her tail. So if it's a bit fat still, just give it a bit of a push at either side with your hands. And then we're going to try and create two eye sockets. Now, I started with the balling tool. I found it easier sometimes to just push my, my fingers in. So I'm using my thumb to open up those eye sockets. Keep them quite nice and deep because she's got quite big eyes. So if you need to widen the eyes, again, just keep going a bit bigger. And then what we're going to do is we're going to put a little dint with the modelling tool down sort of her forehead, going down in between the eyes slightly and then sort of lifting the top of the eye up a little bit with each with each of your thumbs. And for her mouth I'm just using a modelling tool, so this is the Dresden tool and I'm using the more rounded end of it. And just push that in just to create a little sort of semicircle shape and then back to the white modelling paste and I want two large balls for her eyes. They're slightly flatter at the back, just check the sizing of them before you stick them in place. Then when you're happy, just get a little bit of water in those eye sockets and push those eyes in. So they're quite big and googly looking, but Baby Dory's got quite big eyes. Again, if you're losing any of the shape as you're going along by sort of holding it, you sometimes find you get the odd fingerprint, just keep reshaping that body as you go along. So I've got some tiny pieces of blue and we're just going to sort of put on little eyelids or bags, whichever they end up looking like, underneath her eyes. So again, just push them on with a paintbrush or a, or a modelling tool. Sometimes a bit difficult getting your fingers in the tight spots, so I find a paintbrush will just push that in for me. And we're going to do the same at the top, so just around the very top edge of the eyeball that you've put in. Keep them quite small and thin, you don't want them too big, otherwise Dory will look like her eyelids are half shut. Now I've got a magenta colour that I've dyed my modelling paste now. Roll it nice and thin, and I'm going to cut out two circles for the eyes. And we'll put a little bit of water in place where these are going to go. So they're going to go close to sort of the centre of her face for each one. So she's going to look a little bit bog eyed at first. Just make sure they're pressed on nice and firm. And this time I'm going to use some black and a smaller circle. And we'll put these in the centre of each of her eyes. Now I've just got a little bag of cornflour here that I'm just going to use for resting her in as I'm finding I'm putting fingerprints in. So if I just rest her in that, she should sit nicely without flattening the underneath of her on like your table surface. So we've got those blacks in and I'm going to use the magenta. So this is what I actually dyed the eyes with but I'm using it with a tiny bit of water to just paint around the very edge now of that purple. Just deepening that outside edge a little bit. Just gives it a little bit more detail. You blend it slightly with your brush and then inside the mouth we're going to put a little bit of black and then I've mixed a little bit of the purple left from the eyes with a little tiny bit of black just roll a small ball and just push that in place in a mouth for the tongue. Now two small balls of white and they're going to go in each eye so it looks like the light reflecting. So she's starting to take shape a bit now. For the top, a little fin that sort of goes across the top. I've rolled a little sausage shape, slightly thinner at one end than the other, and flattened it. And then I'm putting some little lines all the way along on both sides. Again, water in the place of where we want it to go and just push that on. So she's got like a little bit of a Mohican and then if you want to put any more indentations in just use your modelling tool to press in. I've just realised that 
she's going to flatten quite a bit on the underside if we put her on something flat. So I've got a bit more of the green and I've kind of created a shape where it's thin in the middle and thick on either side so that when I sit her on the top of there, it's going to just cup around her and hold her in place nicely. And then I've got some petal dust colours and I'm just going to brush a bit of the blue just to deepen her up a little bit in colour and add a bit of depth. Concentrating mainly around the edges of the eyes and anywhere that would be a little bit deeper in colour. So anywhere that looks like the light's on it, keep paler. Okay, like that. I've got a dark navy colour for the uh, modelling paste for her fins. And I'm just going to roll two little teardrop shapes for her front fins. And we'll just put those in place. They're only tiny. And I'm going to position them so they come up towards the mouth. You can put them in a different position if you like. And you can, of course, dye your modelling paste if you prefer. I just had some in that was ready dyed. For this colour, the yellow, I've had to dye some because I didn't have any in ready. So I've used primrose and I'm just rolling two little sausage shapes. They're just going to go along the edge of each of those fins. So just push that along the end. Narrow it at either end if you want to, if it fits better against the end of her fin. Same for the other one. She's looking cute now. So take a little bit more that we're going to use for the tail. I've just rolled it out and I'm just going to take a bit that looks a bit triangular in shape for the tail. I'm just putting a little slit in the smaller end because this then will wrap around the body and then we want a little bit of yellow on the end so really thin just wrap it around the end and then trim it to size and then we'll put some little lines in so it's got a bit more detail and that slit that we've put in we're just adding a bit of water to and then push that onto the body so it kind of opens up around the back end of a body there like that and that should stick on in place so for the patterning on the side, she's not quite as detailed as the adult Dory. I'm just going to have a look, measure it against the side of her to see roughly the length I want it to be. And then I'm going to mark my lines of the patterning while it's in place and then I'll take it off and cut it on the board itself. And I've used a little circle cutter to create a little hole. And then for the one on the other side, I'm going to trace around the one I've just cut so that I can get them both similar. And a little bit of water on the back and then just push that in place. And the same with the other side. And then I just decided it's a little bit too far up a body, so I'm just going to take a little bit off there and then just patch up anywhere where I've knocked the colour off. So I've got a little bit of the blue on my brush ready from when I was doing a face. So I'm just adding a little bit of colour to the sand and then a little bit of the purple. Again, these are just my petal dust that I'm using. I'll link to where I got these from in the description box below the video. So back to the green that we were using for this to stand her on earlier. I've rolled it out and I'm going to cut lots of thin long triangle shapes and these are going to become the blades of seaweed so get a little bit of water on the back of those and the bottom and you're going to start pushing these against that stand that we've got her on trying to cover that up but don't go too tall that we end up covering baby dory up herself you're going to do that all the way around to you're happy with the amount you've put on you can put some smaller ones on some bigger ones so keep them a little bit wavy so they look like they're moving around within the sea and then i'm just adding some deeper green Again, just with my little petal dusts, just in between, so you've got a bit more depth, a little bit more colour in there. And like I say, you don't have to put her on this little stand that we've made for her. You can just put the baby dory directly on a cupcake or a cake if you prefer. So there she is, all finished. I hope you've enjoyed the video. Thank you for watching. If you liked this video and would like to see more, please click on the images of the other videos suggested. Also, please do subscribe to my channel using the button at the bottom right hand corner of the screen. You can also visit my cake website and my Facebook page to see more cakes and ideas.